Back again today with another video and I have a tripod to look at. Been a while since I looked at one of these. This was sent in via the company Ulanzi and they've got a collaboration with Komen. So they have a joint project with this travel tripod. First thing to get out of the way is this is a review. So I will be showing it to you in detail and I will also be giving you some of my opinions on the design. It would be quite easy to dismiss this as a peak design travel tripod clone but there are a few areas where I think they've done some interesting things with the design. You do get a nice quality case with this it does have some of that neoprene padding provides a decent amount of protection it only zips down halfway that means it's less likely the tripod will fall out accidentally. I'm going to try and show you this in as much detail as I can so I put the specifications up there on screen and I will be putting additional information on screen as well. I'll also timestamp it so you can have a look through that and jump to areas. Some of the included items, user manual and some stainless steel spikes. That is the strap for the case, which I just showed you a bit earlier. As far as the weight, this is coming in around about one kilogram, which is making it definitely on the lighter side for a travel tripod. They've got some unusual sandblasted finishing on this as well. It's quite a sort of coarse finish. You can really sort of feel that texturing, although I don't dislike it myself. This small oval shaped knob, that is spring loaded and that gives you your panoramic function. So you can simply unscrew that and that will allow the head to rotate around. So that will rotate around a full 360 degrees. Having that ability is quite useful. You can see the markings there, and that's something which would give it an advantage in terms of design over its competitor. It is dampened, so even fully released, there is some resistance when you turn it around. We'll get onto the plate now. There's the thumb screw for that. You do have to pretty much fully unscrew this to take that off. It's definitely one of the smaller plates that I've seen that could be a pro or a con depending on what you're using it for. You will notice there is a lip on one side of that so that's if you put the camera up to that it will stop it from slipping around. On the underside there are two mini bolts as such so you can take those off but that prevents it from slipping off the head and I'll show you that quickly. You can see there's a sort of cutout. One of them has a spirit level in it so you really do have to almost fully release it to take the plate out, sort of a safety feature as such. You will need to use something to tighten that up. You can't do that using your fingers. So something like a coin or the supply tool, and I will show you where that is stashed. That's held on the tripod directly, but I'll get to that in a moment. I think the plate on this definitely works better for smaller cameras or the mirrorless cameras, um, but that's a point which I will cover a bit later on. You can use other Arca Swiss style plates with this. I have about three or four. They all fitted without any problems at all. When you pull out that lever on the side of the hedge, you'll be able to see that just unlocking there. That is a simple on and off lock for the head so you can rotate it around. And that also means it's quite useful if you're just leveling the head off, if you're on uneven ground, so you don't need to bring up that center column and I'll show you how to do that now. Flip open the lever for that. So we have two levers, one on the head, one on the body for raising and lowering the column. With the column extended, you can see that there are two positions that you can put the head in if you want to do vertical shooting. And once it's locked in place, I can't move that even pushing and pulling pretty hard on that. So I have no complaints with either of those two locking levers. Another potential advantage with the panoramic is that you can, if you do have it in the vertical position, you can twist it around, lock it off, just makes it a bit easier when you're attaching the camera to the tripod. That is quite a nice feature and I'm glad that they did think about that with the design. I'll now take out the center column and you can see at the bottom of that there's a hook which rotates around. And just above that there is a rubber washer and that's what you need to sort of grip onto and that has your supplied wrench or tool in the center column so you just unscrew that 
once you've got that out that is your tool on this sample anyway it's sort of fixed in place you can't sort of pull it out or anything this is the only tool that you'll need for the tripod so you will be able to tighten it up if you need to in terms of the legs with the center column out you'll be able to see there's quite a thick texturing on the inside there and there's a triangular shape for the center column for some reason they've decided to go with a metal one i assume it's aluminium rather than the main material which is carbon fiber you will notice that this is in two sections there is a split there and i will show you how to open that now you don't just twist it nothing happens when you do that what you need to do is unlock the head and you'll be able to see when you push the head down into position that at the top in the ball joint is a hole and that will allow you to get the tool in there to undo the bolt you'll notice that when you're unscrewing that the bolt doesn't fall out or it didn't when i've done it the few times that i have done this to take it off it's quite a long thread on this and it also explains why the tool is so long you're probably wondering why that was and this is the reason I'm quite glad that they did do a short column design with this because there's plenty of times that you want to get the tripod down lower but you won't be able to get that low because the column will have to be raised so you're looking at around about six inches just over working distance is going to be a little bit more because the camera obviously will be on top alternatively you can just reverse it around if you need to get that bit lower just give you a few close-up shots now you can see that texturing the sandblasting on the finish they do have a quarter inch thread if you want to screw other accessories in choice of three leg angles and this has an automatic spring-loaded mechanism so you have to push that in place to release it and it automatically locks in when you push it down we've seen this design on other tripods before and i think it works quite well They've decided to go with the traditional round legs. There's nothing wrong with that. I personally don't think there is much space to save by going with a flatter design. We do have flip or lever locks for the legs. All of the parts here are metal as well. You we can see that sandblasted effect on the locks. As I showed you earlier, you can adjust the tension on those if you want more or less. It also means it's quicker to pull those open and lock off I much prefer lever locks compared to the twist lock mechanism which we've seen on a lot of tripods. The rubber feet on the tripod, they're quite thick and they do have a point on them so that sort of helps to dig into loose material, give you a bit more grip. If you want to change those out and fit the supplied stainless steel spikes, all you need to do is simply unscrew them by hand. We've got quite long threads on this as well so you potentially could use it for leveling but as you've got that head with the 20 degrees i really don't think you're going to need to to put these in place just screw them back in you will probably want to lock them off though with the supply tool that's why there is a hole in each of the spikes the spikes work quite well particularly for soft ground where they can help to dig in Let's talk about the stability of the tripod now i'm going to put a bit of weight on this i have a combined weight of just over two kilograms as with most tripods in five sections there is a bit of flex right at the end mostly on the smallest section it is quite stable though with the column down once you extend that column up that's when you're going to start to see that there is more vibrations it does settle down fairly quickly but obviously I wouldn't extend the center column unless you absolutely had to. And if you did have to extend it, then I would only put it up, you know, a small amount, perhaps halfway at most. There's always going to be some compromises with a travel tripod in terms of the size, weight, the stability. But there are a couple of things which do annoy me. And the first one is that the plate, I think it is a bit too small. I uh, also think that it would be useful if you had a D-ring on there so you could tighten it up without any tools. I'd also get rid of that lip on the front because it means for larger cameras that it doesn't fit that well because the lip gets in the way. I do like the panoramic function. I think that is very important and very useful. The fit and finish on this tripod overall is very good. They do have a column coming out with a base plate on it so you can fit your own head that's a pre-order product so I haven't looked at that but if you are someone who wants to fit another head that would be an option for you 
I perhaps might have gone with a carbon fiber center column, but in most areas they've done quite a nice job on this tripod in terms of the design. They have thought about a few things which make it a bit different from its competitors. As far as the price goes, it's almost half the price of its main competitor, so that is something to consider. So no, it's not a cheap tripod, but it's not as horribly expensive as some of your other options are. Any thoughts, comments or questions, do drop them down below. I'm sure a few people might have some ideas with this particular tripod, things that you might like or areas that you might change. Thank you for watching, it is appreciated. More photo products and reviews will be coming later on as well as other items that I look at, and I'll see you in the next one very soon.